Jai Hind children. In today's life skills session, we are going to learn online learning etiquettes. Now with the COVID-19 outbreak, the academic year was disrupted. And to ensure that you all do not miss on your studies, schools moved classes online. And as a result, all of you have to attend online classes from home. But do you know that you need to be more disciplined and focused during online classes? In today's life skills session, we'll talk about the do's and don'ts of the online classes. Now the top four must do's when attending online classes are, first one, be on time, be prepared, be attentive, and be respectful. Now before you sit with your gadget to attend the online session, your daily must do's include waking up early at a fixed time. Although you have your classes late in the morning, you must get up early at a fixed time and have a routine in your daily life. Secondly, it's very important to keep yourself fit by doing physical exercise. You may not be allowed to go out to play. You can do yoga or physical exercise even in your room. Third, maintain personal hygiene. Have a bath early in the morning before you sit before the gadgets to attend your classes. It's very important to dress up Pray to the Almighty, showing gratitude and seeking strength in the difficult times is very important, children. It gives strength to you. Meditate every day for five to 10 minutes. I know these are stressful times, but you need to keep yourself stress-free. Help your mother in household chores. She may feel lonely, although you are there, but do not be too demanding and help her out whenever she is tired. Give her a cup of tea. Now remember, you are still in a classroom. It may be an online classroom. Treat everyone how you would like to be treated. Now the first thing is be on time. Punctuality is especially important for online classes. Students will need to be extra responsible to schedule their day effectively. So it's not that you have to attend the class and that's all. You have to do your painting work, you have to write down the notes, you have to practice them, and you have to be prepared for the next day also. Schedule a reminder 15 minutes ahead of the class. Be ready for the class and choose a comfortable place, keeping your books and stationery nearby. Now this is very important. Wear proper attire. Learning from the comfort of your home can make it feel desirable to dress down, but make sure you look presentable just like we do at school. If you do so, you'll have a feeling that you're attending the school. It's our expectation that students dress in a way that is modest, clean, and avoids any unnecessary distraction. Unless you are ill, you may be expected to share your screen through video in order to engage in discussion. And it would look very awkward if you are in your sleepwear and anything that could be perceived as immodest should be avoided. Appropriate clothes. We don't want you to wear school dress, but your clothing should be appropriate. Then choosing a good location. The most important thing is to have a clean and non-distracting background. 
if possible, set up a desk with materials ready. Another factor is the possibility of background noise. You may have your siblings around when you are attending your classes and if your siblings are at all likely to be loud in the room, try to isolate yourself. Try to be in a room where, where the noise possibility is minimal. Now mute yourself if you experience unavoidable background noise. If for reasons beyond your control, noise becomes a problem, in, please click the icon that will mute your audio. Try to do this sooner rather than later and either ask family members to move or else move yourself in a location where there is no background noise. If it's impossible to find a quiet place in your current family scenario, it's still important for you to attend the meeting. Just mute yourself for the whole time and listen to what your teacher is saying, except when called on and let your teacher know by a private chat message what the situation at your house is on that particular day. Now be ready to take notes. Now online meetings aim to condense the time that everyone is present together. It will be very beneficial for you to be able to jot down note on the instructions the teacher is giving. Giving your full and focused attention is the next thing. Focused attention is one of the best things you can do to learn efficiently. Teacher is physically not present in the class. Avoid side conversation with other students via another means of communication. You may be tempted to chat with your friends when the class is going on but stay away from that and do not eat and drink while you're online study when on an online meeting it may be tempting to use another device or engage with someone or something else in your surroundings rather than the meeting that you are a participant in show respect to the important learning process that you are engaged in during the Zoom meeting. So if you're attending a class, please do it very attentively, focusing your attention to what your teachers are conveying to you. Next is to participate fully. At times, your teacher will be leading the class in a discussion, and this is when it is important to speak up and share your thoughts. Don't be just a mute person throughout the class. Whenever you are asked to participate in a discussion, do it enthusiastically. Of course, if your teacher is simply sharing instructions with you, then participating fully means paying close attention to be sure you understand what is being conveyed to you. Writing anything down you don't want to forget and being ready to ask any questions you have about confusing parts when the teacher is done. The fact is that the nature of an online format may increase the tendency of some students to sit back and observe, but that's wrong. Just can't sit back and observe what's going on. You must participate actively. You must ask questions. You must clear your doubts on any confusing part. Do ask questions. Your teachers are there to support and help you. And it makes it easier on everyone if you can ask a question while together in an online meeting because there may be other children who are having the same doubt and it would be easier for everyone to clear that doubt in the classroom itself. If you are experiencing some confusion, 
or have a question about something, it is likely that someone else also has the same question. So speak up. Right. Always be polite and respectful when you ask questions to teachers. Now another very important thing is, do not give your personal information to others, like your password. And the class links, or the passwords which are shared with you are only for you. So don't share them with anyone else. Be more careful with your words. So much of our communication is built on the presence with a person. The tone and temperature of our interactions can affect others in ways we don't even realize. So when moving communication to a new medium, as we all are, we need to begin by being more careful. Now, after the class is done, review your notes and the recording later. When possible, the teacher will share a recording of the online meeting with you for any student who has missed the live meeting because of sickness or other circumstances. But it's a good idea to take notes and don't rely on re-watching later because it can be very time consuming to scan through a video in search of a particular detail or instruction which was given during the class. So don't rely on that recording. It's better that you jot down the important points which the teacher has shared with you. Now next is keeping up with all assignments. It can be tempting to put off assignments with multiple days before their due date. Just because you have ample of time, just because you're thinking you are at home, do not spend on your work. Doing this once can have a spiral effect. Because you're rushing to make up yesterday's assignments, you now have less time to work on today's assignments. And like that, your work would be piled up and locked. Meaning, you're likely to get behind on what's due tomorrow as well. So, adopt a mindset that each day you will put in a solid day's work on school and learning as you used to do when you went to school every day. Send your scanned work to your teachers timely. But please do not send the work at abrupt timing. Give yourselves little breaks and set micro goals to ensure that you keep up the motivation. And if you're feeling low, talk to your parents, talk to your teachers. Online learning provides you with more flexibility in the structure of your school day. If you constantly have the temptation of video games calling you away from your schoolwork and the burden of decision to staying in the class, you'll find it much harder to be productive. So it is you who is going to decide what I have to do at a particular time. You have to set up the bright lines and rules for yourself to get work done before playtime you will likely find online learning an enjoyable experience then. Now we have a Guru portal and WhatsApp groups made for each class. There are a few reasons that checking Guru portal regularly will be important. First, your teachers will be uploading your assignments, notes and links there. Checking your WhatsApp ensures that you will receive these notices in a timely manner and be able to adjust your schedule for the day. It is also possible that the teacher will have to clarify something that was misunderstood or said incorrectly in an online meeting by WhatsApp afterward. So do check in your subject groups and the class groups regularly for any information which would be otherwise missed out by you. If you go merrily on your way with the assignment without checking your WhatsApp, you may encounter difficulties that
that could have been avoided. Then, next important thing is avoid calling and sending messages to teachers at odd hours. The teachers are fixed an hour for you in the evening. Call them between 5 to 6 for any doubts for sending your scan work. Now, apologize for any accidental breach of etiquette. Online learning is going to involve some sort of interruption and no one is expected to be perfect. However, if you do break one of these etiquette guidelines, whether it's not being on time, loud background noise, dominating the discussion or not being prepared, come right out and apologize sooner rather than later. So I think you all have now understood what are the requirements of online learning and the next time when you go for your class, you are well prepared, on time, well dressed. I know you all are good children and you'll follow these etiquettes very nicely. Okay, children. Bye-bye. That's all for today.